After 64 years, the Princess Elizabeth Center, aimed at assisting physically handicapped children, is still being affected by environmental factors such as flooding. The center, located on Arapita Avenue in Woodbrook, first started after a polio epidemic during 1952 to assist pediatric physical problems. Speaking on Good Morning Trinidad and Tobago, lead surgeon of the center, Dr. David Toby, said, currently the infrastructural challenges caused by the environment affects the center's daily activities. Marie Hull tells us more. This building, named after Princess Elizabeth in 1952, stands as a space to give parents with physically handicapped children hope, providing services to assist their everyday challenges. As explained by Dr. David Toby, the chief surgeon at the center, there are many physical problems affecting children in Trinidad and Tobago. He said despite these obstacles, the children should be comfortable. Every child, every child is different. There's every, everybody has their own formula. So um, you, you ask what the parents normally would ask, which is, how long will my child have this for? If it is cerebral palsy or so, it will be forever. But at the same time, if it is well managed, then the child will, you do t things for the child to succeed, to, to still get into society and, and go to school and get married and different things like that. Dr. Toby said the facilities at the center, such as operating theaters and outpatient clinics, provide the home to an estimated 60 children. However, he said this private organization is in need of an upgrade exceeding $10 million. We, over the last few years, um, five to eight years, we've been having serious flooding at the Princess Elizabeth Center because of the change of an, an environment. In an effort to raise funds for the Princess Elizabeth home, the center will be hosting a musical at Queen's Hall on Saturday, May 28th. Marie Hall, C News.